hello guys welcome to how to fix track in this video guys if some websites are working on your windows and some websites are not working so this video is for you guys in my case I'm able to open the Google Chrome as well as I'm able to open the YouTube but videos are not loading so if you are getting the same issue this video is for you uh, let's say if I want to open this my video so this is spinning and internet is connected but it is not working only so how to troubleshoot this issue guys I will show you step by step so that you can resolve this issue so I have basically got this issue myself to test that user face this kind of issues at their level so in order to troubleshoot that guys first of all we need to open the control panel and since if some websites are working some websites are not working this issue is related to the proxy okay and go to here category select here the large once you select here large go to internet options whether it windows 10 11 or other now in here guys look for advanced options here and click on this option first restore advanced setting this will restore to the default setting click on ok now click on ok and let's check uh, if other website are not working or not let me check here this website now still not resolve ok so now move on to same stage again internet option now this time guys we need to look for connections and in here go to the LAN settings and I have added some websites here as well as allow some websites here so in this case these are bypassed by the proxy and this is the IP address I have uh, myself put it to test how to resolve this issue so in order to resolve this issue guys we need to untick this option okay the proxy server should be untick and make sure automatically data setting here click on ok and click on ok now now it should work now properly let me show you here you can see it is working now properly if I go to Windows 10 now all are working here so if I go to this website ok now you can see all are working here and all are working fine here so this is the case guys it should fix your issue now in this case since we have restored the setting to the defaults as well as we have disabled the proxy setting here but if you have still issue guys uh, you can t t do this delete temporarily file history cookies save password and web information so make sure you have backup your history or the saved password in the windows or the browser click on delete here and now once you delete you can see temporarily internet files cookies history list of website you have visited you can take this option download history form saved password only leave this password okay so that your password is saved now click on delete click on apply okay we cannot apply this deleting now click on okay now check if you are able to fix is its issue or not and it should fix your issue now if still not fixed guys uh, we have another fix for you so in this case guys we are going to change the DNS setting or of the Windows 10 or 11 so since we are on the control panel we need to go to the network and trouble network and sharing and click on change advanced sharing now this option change adopter settings now in here guys whichever connection you have connected just right click on this and go to its properties and look for internet protocol version 4 go to properties now in here choose the DNS 8.8.8.8 and alternative 
dot four dot four. This is a Google DNS. Click on OK, and you can also untick IPv6 options here. This option, if it is tick, and check if it works or not. Now we have enabled the Google DNS and check if it has fixed the issue or not. If not, guys, we can take the help of the command prompt. So simply, or you can just disable it once and then re-enable this. But this may not fix the issue. Let me open the command prompt here. And as admin, click on yes. Now we need to flush the DNS here. IP config space slash flush DNS and hit enter. Now once you hit enter, guys, you can see uh, we need to hit another command. Winshock space net sh. I think net sh winshock space reset. This will reset a socket errors. You must restart your system in order to complete reset. So you have to restart your system guys and thereafter it should fix your issue now. So this is how guys you can fix the issue. If still facing the issue you can go to the router setting and you can reset your router once and it may fix your issue now. So hope this helps you guys. Your issue is fixed now. If yes then hit like subscribe and share. Thank you. Thanks for watching how to fix tech.